Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Matty and Nemo. Uh, if you remember last week, we took a video up on our Facebook page of me and Liam reacting. Liam's lack of reaction and my overblown reaction to the Batman vs Superman mini teaser for a trailer. I was I was so excited. And we weren't expected to get the trailer until today, right? Time yeah, is in... that was the plan. Yeah. April 20th. All right, so uh, I don't know about you, Liam. My number two trailer in my list Star Wars Episode 7, Force Awakens. Ooh. I'm guessing your number two is Batman vs Superman, yeah? It is, um, but it's not because there's anything wrong with it. There's something about the Star Wars one that's, that's grabbing me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There's, there's, yeah. there's an excitement there. And maybe that's down to the fact that we've been excited about Batman and Superman for fucking two years now at this play at the stage. Um, yeah. Whereas yeah. Star Wars hasn't quite had that same level of interest. Oh, they're filming this. He's he's using all practical effects. He has models and this. And that. Oh, yeah, that's good. He's going back to the roots of Star Wars. Yada, yada, yada. Whereas with Batman and Superman, it just had that level of mystique that everybody was kind of focused on all the time. Holy shit, we're getting yeah. to see this finally on the big screen. Blah, 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 blah. So now that these two trailers have dropped, they're both brilliant. But Star Wars just grabbed me. Okay. Well, then we'll talk about Batman vs Superman first. I mean, for me, the only reason Star Wars isn't beating the Batman vs Superman trailer is because I'm a much bigger fan of Batman than I am of Star Wars. So, like, I mean, I love, believe me, I love Star Wars. I love the films. I'm not, I'm not into the expanded universe, but I am a massive fan of the films. I've watched the films countless number of times. But Batman is just, it's just on a higher level for me. But uh, we'll talk about Batman vs Superman first. Overall opinions of the Batman vs Superman trailer is I fucking love it. I love everything about it. There's nothing in that trailer that got me disappointed. And I love the fact that there's still we still don't know anything really about the story. I mean, we know Batman vs Superman. Batman is going to be against Superman. Do you know what I mean? Clues yeah. the title there. But I mean, we don't know like what motivates it. We don't know who the villain is because I mean, Jesse Eisenberg is has been cast as Lex Luthor, but we don't even know if he's the main villain because. He's not really much of a physical match for the two of them. No, of course not. Yeah, yeah. I get the feeling he's just going to be behind the scenes pulling the strings. Um, exactly. Yeah. The one thing I hope, having watched this trailer, yes, it's Batman versus Superman, and the trailer clearly shows Batman fucking v Superman. But I'm yeah. hoping that when we go and see the film, that that's not the first twenty minutes, and then the next two hours yeah. after that is they've teamed up and they're going up against something. Not that that's a bad storyline. That's that's absolutely fine. But don't tell me a film is going to be about these two fighting and have it only be a small element of the plot. Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't want that to happen. I definitely yeah. don't want that to happen. What I ideally what I want from this film is I want to go in and have the reaction to what happened to Man of Steel. Have Batman basically have a call, have him call it call out Superman in a way, which yeah. I think is what's going to happen from you know from the from the trailer what the trailer showed us. It, that looks like what's going to happen, and then to have like that be like an hour and a half of the movie. You know what I mean? An hour, maybe an hour, fifteen minutes of the movie where it's like they're gonna fight and then they have that big fight and then something happens where they figure out we're not, we shouldn't be fighting each other, we should be taking this fucking thing down or we should yeah. be sorting this shit out. And I think in the trailer you see Batman in his like robot suit, mechanical suit, That's straight right, out yeah. Dark Knight Returns. And then later, uh, before that in the trailer though, you see him in his proper like, it's just his regular suit. And I have to say, I think that part, him in the regular suit, comes after the mechanical suit the reason i think that is because that crumbling background with the fire and shit looks a lot like the picture we got of gal gadot as wonder woman yeah it's pro it's most definitely gonna ha gonna happen after which i like because i don't want this big build-up of oh he's gonna put he's gonna put the, the mechanical suit on put it on put it on and then we have it and then they fight and then he's just gonna stay in that all the time but then again yeah, I, that, I could go in and that that would be disappointing aren't they, if they handle it that way but i don't i really don't think that's gonna happen i have a lot of faith in snyder a lot of people don't well, I liked Watchmen, right? It was the kind of superhero movie that's not really about, okay, it's about superheroes, but that's not what it is. It's about, what's the, what's the word I'm looking for here? It's about conflict. And, and yeah. a group of people can be, you know, friends, for want of a better word, but actually hate each other on several levels. And the way you can have people who are in the comic book world, he's a bad guy, he's a good guy, but it's not quite like that in real life. And I thought that yeah. was handled really well in that movie. That kind of whole theme, it's going to work well, I think, in this. Because, yes, Superman is an obvious good guy, and so is Batman, but you can totally understand why Batman would have his concerns about Superman. I would like to think that it's coming from, you know, a lot of the stuff in the comic books, uh, I don't like to go, keep going back to them because the films and the comics are completely different mediums, so they're probably not going to match them completely. But, I mean, yeah. a lot of that resentment from Batman comes towards the fact that, like, how powerful Superman actually is. I mean, he is essentially a god, 
So he could just take over the world and no one could stop him. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. There's a great quote that I saw, but I can't remember where, which book it comes from. It's like, uh, Clark is so powerful, blah, blah, blah. You know, you look at him, you see the things he can do and you realize he's such a god. It's just, a, it's amazing that he hasn't figured that out himself. He's like, they always say the blue boy scale, but he is exactly like that. That's why he has taken over the world. Yeah. I just, I, I love the trailer. I love the false god written on Superman's symbol. Yeah. I love the... All the little radio clips of people discussing the whole situation and all that. Yeah. And yeah, that brilliant. quote from uh, Jesse Eisenberg is great. Devils don't come from hell beneath us. They come from the sky above. I thought that was great. I, one, th- one thing that people are... There's two things that people are really complaining about, which in the trailer, Batman is standing on like what looks like a tower. And people thought there was an antenna that he was holding onto. That's actually a sniper rifle. It's got a scope on it. It's a rifle with a scope. Really? Batman's using a gun. Like, why is he using a gun? Batman doesn't use guns. But I, I'm assuming it's from Dark Knight Returns where he uses that. It's like a zip line. He fires it across. I'm, I'm looking at it now. Yeah. Yeah, I never would have caught that. I just assumed it was an antenna on top of a bridge. It's a rifle with a scope. Yeah. But I'm, I'm yeah. because, I mean, Snyder is a, is a massive Batman fan. He's not going to make Batman use a gun. Do you know what I mean? Because that would really no. fucking piss off. That would be fucking hilarious. The fans. And second thing is uh, the Batwing shooting the cars. And it blows it's... up and blows the fucking... People are saying, like, Batman just killed, like, four people in those cars. Two possible explanations I've seen online. One is that, well, okay, he does that in Dark Knight. And Batman begins, and no one says anything. He literally lets fucking Ra's al Ghul die in the movie. He, he takes fucking incredible risks in the movies. Like, you imagine when he's driving around Gotham in that tumbler. Yeah. Right? That's lethal. Especially, like, it jumping is. across rooftops or what have you. It's yeah. amazing. He hasn't killed dozens of people by now. You know that. It's pure luck. Pure dumb luck. It's dead. That's all it is. So, I mean, people are complaining. I'm not complaining. I'll wait and see what happens in the movie. Yeah. You know what they do, but someone put up a great, uh, put forward a great theory that, you know, maybe the reason Batman and Superman fight, or the reason Superman goes against Batman is that, you know, he thinks Batman is going around killing people. Batman's against Superman because he's this god, blah blah blah, and like that maybe someone has hacked it because there was talk at the, before the movie was even being filmed. There was talk that Batman was going to be in his cave using drones. Oh, okay. And someone saying maybe someone's hacked the drones and is, you know, using them to make Batman look like a murderer, blah, 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 whatever. So we'll see what happens. But uh, anything that stuck out for you in the trailer? The suit. We mentioned the suit. I don't think we did actually mention it. <clears throat> the new suit. Uh, and I'm not talking about the, the suit of Aaron. I'm talking about the actual. Cowl, yeah, the, the actual cowl. tattoo. Amazing. Expression Jesus on his face. Classic. Yeah, he looks like, looks like Clint Eastwood at his grumpiest. Yes, yeah. You can picture yeah, uh, Ben Affleck sitting there in Wayne Manor with a sketch pad trying to design a new mask and he looks up at the telly and uh, Gran Torino was on and he's like yes <laughs> yes perfect Clint Eastwood's grumpy he face takes a picture of his phone sends it to I just, Lucas uh, Fox can I, can I just say um, that that suit overall apart from the cowl that suit is amazing it just yeah. looks like Batman comic book and it looks exactly like him the grey and black yeah and Jesus Christ, Ben Affleck is ripped. Fucking he hell. Fit. He just looks like a lot of he just looks like a lot of basketball stuff to his body. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's just muscle on muscle on muscle. It's ridiculous. Yeah. So I mean, I don't know when we're gonna get the next trailer. The movie doesn't come out till March, so they're after releasing the trailer a year in advance, and it was a two minute trailer. Like the they did the same thing for Man of Steel, but it was only like a 30 second clip and they showed nothing. Do you know what I mean? They showed basically Superman flying from a distance yeah. with a voiceover. That's right. So I mean that's, the second trailer, I'm guessing around Comic Con, after Comic Con. But mother of Christ, I can't wait for that trailer. What do we think uh, of Daisy Ridley? She's uh, she's the one who grabs the uh, John black stormtrooper. Yeah. yeah, the guy who's always sweaty and out of breath. Yeah, he's fucking in all of every shot. And can I just say, he's supposed to be a stormtrooper. Surely they've got fitness training. Do you know what I mean? You would imagine. Yeah, he, 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 I think he just he left home for hours in Taylor. Probably, yeah. He's just yeah. struggling. He doesn't want to admit it. That's that's really my only dread about this movie is how he's gonna sound. Is he gonna yeah. sound like Super from EastEnders? You have a little off. If he does, I'll walk out. I would literally oh, rather see Jar Jar back on screen. Matty and Nemo talk about trailers that are fucking class. Fantastic for it. yes. Yeah, really? It was a movie I wasn't very excited about actually. I was kinda of, had my reservations about it. I know the original two movies uh, have their knockers. <laughs> Ew! Uh, Jamie Bell. Yeah, I can't really take to the guy. Never like that. No, there's something about him, isn't there? Yeah, something about his face. I just want to take a run and punch at it. <laughs>